Well, thank you, Dancy. Well, for weeks now, you've been hearing us talk about the Spring to Life campaign. You've been hearing us talk about the blessing and the importance of our partnership together. Well, I am joined now by our station manager, Kevin Bowers, to talk a little bit more in depth about the uniqueness and specialness of TV44. Let's just get started right away. What makes TV44 unique? Well, you know, Jennifer, when I look outside our station and see that tower and the antenna on the tower, that makes you really appreciate the fact that we're reaching out seven counties to seven counties through the air and of course through cable vision. Now what makes this unique? I think it's that we're independent. There's so few Christian stations left in the United States and we're one of the few uh, right here in Lima, Ohio. I think that is definitely a key. When I talk with people out in the community, you know, we, I share the fact that we are not connected to any other Christian affiliate. We truly are independent. We are local. You and I, encounter people out in the community, the same people that see us on television. Uh, let's talk about our programming because we're able to provide national, but local, such a wide variety. Yes, and if you'd look at our program schedule, 87% of that programming is Christian preaching and teaching. And I would challenge anybody out there who's blessed through that preaching and teaching that you support the ministry not only for your own benefit, but for the benefit of all those others in those counties we're talking about <laughs> who also receive the spiritual blessing from that programming. Of course, we hear from people who say that TV44 is their church, but then we also hear from people who, who, who admit that they wouldn't go to church quite yet. They don't feel that they can do that, but they feel they can go to church through TV44. It's a safe place. And I just met a lady yesterday who said that. She says, I cannot go to church on Sunday, so I get up on Sunday morning and listen to all the preaching and teaching. And of course, that's really neat because you're on Sunday mornings as well in between the programming, but that is her weekly nourishment by tuning into 44 and watching the preaching and teaching. Now, of course, we continually hear about how much people love Andy Griffith. I hear people say those old shows are never old. It's not just preaching and teaching that we offer here on TV44, is and it? No, and of course, you know, we're supported by contributions and sponsorships and the sponsorships help purchase that programming like Andy Griffith and Hazel and the family kind of programming that you like here on Channel 44 as well as the local sports programming. But primarily Channel 44 is preaching and teaching. And again, I would challenge you, you know, a lot of these programmers on 44 do not help pay the cost of being on the air. In fact, only 8% of our revenue comes from programmers. So we really appreciate viewers who step up and say, I will support because I believe in this particular ministry that they see. And here's a look on the screen of where that money comes in. You mentioned some 8% uh, coming in from programmers. What a small percentage. It is, and you know, 40%, is it 42% of our revenue comes from contributions, and that is critical because we're nonprofit. We're a 501c3, so your support is needed or we would not be here. We cannot operate strictly on sponsorships or programming income. It is the viewers who support Channel 44. I hate to make it sound bluntly, but if we lost that 42%, things well, you know, would change. I, I tell <laughs> people, the, uh, they say, how things gone? I said, well, we trust God. But what we trust God to do is work to work through his people because we are stewards of this wonderful asset for West Ohio, uh, this Channel 44. We are stewards of that. Mm -hmm. We have a responsibility to support it. Now, when you say work through people, I also think it's interesting how our board works we are governed or we're owned differently than some people might think when it comes to our board and who owns TV44. Yes, and that gets back to how unique 44 is. As a nonprofit, there is not one denomination or one church that owns the station. We have a rotating board of directors and you can see some of these folks here. Generally, it runs between seven and 10 members. These people volunteer their time. They're really leaders within the community well respected and they keep us on the right path and uh, they're our accountability partners <laughs> if you will. Well and I think it's really neat that that list that just you just saw on the screen if you take a look at the different dynamics of who makes up that board God had seems to have really brought every little element of skill and knowledge right to that board to help guide us. You agree? Oh especially now because obviously finances are always uh, a need, I mean, as far as knowing what to do business-wise, but also technology is changing. We have a lot of uh, people on our board who are really understanding of where media is going, and that's a huge help. 
Mm. All right, Kevin Bowers, thank you so much for stopping in on Faith and Friends. It's always good to have you here. Good to be here. And it's always good to be spending time with you as well. Remember, the Spring to Life campaign continues through May 11th. You can find out more information going to our website, WTLW.com, or give us a call anytime. Back to you, Andy and Zach.